Uh, hi guys, welcome to another Strelok C++ tutorial. Sorry that I was away for a while. Um, a lot of cool work and stuff like that. Okay, so um, today we will do, I'll try to do a quick tutorial on file input and output. So, um, it's not really a quick subject, but it's on the basics, it's fairly easy to understand. So let's let's start right away and a few notes before we start. Some others do know. I'm a bit rusty so if I make uh, some errors just don't blame me too too badly. So a few notes in the beginning. Um, here are the steps we will use. One uh, declare a file writing stream. You'll understand what I mean. Stream. Two uh, write uh, to a file and three close the stream uh, it's important to close the stream just so that you don't get hanging point dangling pointers and stuff like that okay so this is basically and then four maybe clean up after yourself so just so other other programs will not have such a hard time. Okay, so let's start by including. We're gonna use a different include this time. It's uh, called fstream, right? And it stands for files, file input and output. Uh, so file stream, right? And uh, we'll just make a main main statement. And just to show you that the the file I'm working with is located in uh, here, here's the, the folder it's it's located in it's called file io just so for future reference so that you know so I'll drag this over we don't need this okay so int main and um, it will receive so let's start with the first step declare a file writing stream or file writing slash reading, right? Reading. Okay. So the first step is to declare a file, say a writing stream. I want to write to a file, right? So I'm gonna declare off stream, which means output file stream, and I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna name it Strelok. Oops, Strelok. Strelok out, just so that I can recognize it as a an output. Or simply, I'm just gonna, for shorter reference, SL. And um, now I'm gonna say SL dot open, and this is gonna be my test file. So test dot text, right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create the file test dot text in the current directory, which since I didn't switch directories is gonna be the same one that my file is in, right? It's this one. Yay! Okay, so it's going to create a file there, and uh, since we started, uh, we did the first step, let's do the second step. The second step is also easy, and um, it's going to be to write to the file. So it's as simple as C in and C out, and it's basically considered as out as C out. So I'm going to write to this uh, to this stream, right, that I off stream. And I'm gonna write just like a C out statement. I'm gonna write hello world, All right? And now I'm gonna say s out close because or s out flush. We wanna well, we wanna flush the buffer right before closing. Um, flush basically it makes everything go into the file, and then we close the file because we don't need it anymore, right? And we say return zero at the end. So it's such a simple program and we'll try to compile it and run it and see what we get. Right? So it doesn't recognize the, the off stream command, which is weird. Oh, of course. I didn't put using namespace in the standard namespace. Right? So let's try it now. I said I'm rusty and I make so many errors. Okay, uh, it flashed before our eyes and now it's gone. Let's check if anything happened. 
Oh, look at that. Test. And what's in it? Hello world. See, we have written to a file. Congratulations. And you can of course uh, exchange this text and you can basically you can use it as C out, as an alternative to C out. So uh, it's a very very simple alternative. And you can e even write uh, say to uh, a file called data dot dat say right it doesn't really matter what you call it you can call it any file you can even call it an exe file uh, but say I want the data file which contains numbers 36 63 and 59 and I can write that and now oops I need to open this uh, this thing again really sorry so here we will go to C++ console tutorials lesson 10 right and we will go here's our data our new data object right and I'm gonna open it with just gonna open it with notepad and here's our data so you can save it at any extension you can even set it, set, save it as an exe and for example uh, I can save it as a CPP file, as a C++ file, right? As a .h file, as a, a .dot uh, my extension, even, and it will still work. Oh, I closed it again. My bad. Horrible today. C++. Okay, here it is. Here's data that my extension, but it's really hard to look at it. So I'm gonna take open Notepad, right? And I'm gonna drag this my extension thing over to Notepad. And guess what? I get the same data that I printed out to it. So I'm just gonna clear these files now. Yep, and this one. So that was a quick very quick um, a very quick refresher on uh, uh, see, output streams file output streams here you can also say uh, make a label ios dot out which simply means that you're only going to be writing to this file I think it's written like that right um, and it works again but you you don't have to specify we'll go more in detail when we're reading in from files uh, which is going to be the next lesson okay thank you very much and see you in the next lesson we'll talk about uh, file input streams it will be very much fun thank you